All right, we are back again at the Rotary Arts Center and the event tonight, we are honoring the stars of tomorrow and one of those stars is playing tonight and we'll be kicking off the event by the time that this does air. We have the one, the only, Darcy Scott. How are you doing, Darcy? I'm doing fantastic, man. How about yourself? I am doing great. Now, um, how does it feel to be here in Cornerbrook? Uh, it's a huge honor. I've been playing for a long time and I've been coming to these... Uh, these events now for years and it's finally great to showcase my talents to uh, a room full of people so I'm really looking forward to it. That's awesome. So uh, how important are events like these to uh, a young uh, artist like yourself? Yeah these events are definitely essential in the music industry because not only do you get to showcase your talents but there's so many industry professionals that get to come witness your talents and you kind of get to shop yourself around to these uh, different media outlets, which is a fantastic thing as an upcoming artist. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, you've been in the scene now for a couple of years or so. Mm -hmm. So uh, if someone is looking to pursue uh, a career in music, uh, what are a couple of things that you think would be essential to you know have a sustainable career in the industry? I think it's definitely essential to have a strong support system. You definitely need, you know, musician friends always helps because, you know, you can ask them questions, kind of spitball ideas, pitch songs. So definitely having a support system of people that you can go to. Um, Amen. And yeah, definitely be active on social media is another thing because that's one way to grow your following. And uh, you know, if you can perform somewhere and get 20% of that audience to give you a follow, you'll definitely build yourself up over time. And you know, when you do these things, you know, head across the island, you'll have people here to support you. Yeah, absolutely. And social media is so important nowadays, sure, especially man. in this uh, age technology that we've been in for many, many years now. Mm -hmm. uh, one fun fact about me, uh, during the 2014, I uh, graduated from high school in 2014, and uh, one, we had a little mock awards uh, before our, our prom, and uh, one of the awards I got was most addicted to social media. <laughs> and that's it. Here we are. <laughs> exactly. Now, um, who are you most excited to meet here uh, for Music Celebration Week that you really haven't met yet? Ah. Uh... I've been very fortunate to, I guess, meet a lot of the musicians. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm really excited to meet some of the delegates. I have a day where I get to do some one-on-one -on -one meetings. So uh, there's no one in particular that I'm really looking forward to seeing, but I guess just kind of meeting all of them. Uh, I think that's going to be the most exciting thing to take away from this. Now, um, when this week does wrap up and you head back, um, what will you take away uh, from this experience of uh, Music Celebration Week? I guess uh, the idea of how important it is to network. Um, definitely these things are, you know, made for networking. You'll meet so many different people, you know. There's people on the West Coast that are doing the same thing as me and kind of get to collaborate with them. And I think at these events, the most important thing is just kind of making friendships that, you know, hopefully last a lifetime. All right, Darcy, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you so much for having me, man.